Nearly half of U.S. adults have high blood pressure, but even more concerning, hypertensive disorders in pregnancy are on the rise, so much so that it, now that it now affects one out of seven hospital deliveries. They are a leading cause of pregnancy-related death in the United States. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us to explain why it's on the increase and what women can do about it. Well, you know, Kim and Devin, one of the reasons that we're seeing more hypertension during pregnancy is that more women have high blood pressure. But on top of that, trends in advancing maternal age and increased pre-pregnancy weight are also contributing to the development of high blood pressure during pregnancy. There are three different types of high blood pressure disorders during pregnancy. We have chronic hypertension. This is a woman who was given a diagnosis of hypertension even when she was not pregnant or who was diagnosed with hypertension before the 20th week of pregnancy. That is chronic hypertension. Cleveland Clinic Dr. Tosin Goji says this is different than high blood pressure that develops during pregnancy. Then we have gestational hypertension. As the word gestation, this is hypertension after 20 weeks of pregnancy and this can now continue from gestational hypertension to become what we call preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is the most severe type of hypertension during pregnancy, occurring in about 1 in 25 pregnancies. It can potentially impact maternal organ function and the placenta, placing the health of both the mother and the baby at immediate risk. To avoid complications, women should be screened for high blood pressure before, during, and after pregnancy. Women over the age of 40 have an increased risk of developing hypertensive disorders during pregnancy, as well as those with diabetes, immune system disorders like lupus, or women who went through in vitro fertilization. Black women are also at an increased risk. Now, taking measures to improve your health both before and during pregnancy can reduce the risk, and that includes exercise, eating healthy, and reducing stress. Now, for women who develop these conditions, high blood pressure, preeclampsia, yeah. Does the condition just go away after they deliver the baby? Well, so the short answer is yes, but you know, the simple fact is women who have preeclampsia, the best treatment is in fact to deliver the child as soon as possible. But the thing to keep in mind here is many of the same risk factors that led to gestational hypertension or preeclampsia, they continue to exist. So there is often still a risk of developing high blood pressure mm -hmm. down the road, even if it temporarily resolves. Gotcha. All right. Thanks, Frank. Mm -hmm.